Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting drink shit to episode six of the Monogatari series of and monsters. Is gonna get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> I wonder how this is gonna go. Uh oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Just look like Mario and Luigi. I can't. Oh, damn. I mean, she still is holding up on her own. I love that. But, you know, secretly. You know, oh, shit. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh. So how many did you make? Did you hide with the bloomers? She did! <laughs> oh, shut up! That was easy. <laughs> oh, shut up. That is so smart, though. I mean, because I'm thinking, like, okay, y'all got this two on one. But then it's like, no, girl, like, remember who this is. This is God, for Christ's sake. She did that, though. Very, very proud of her. Yeah, you could blend in with them.
I mean, it wasn't because you highly, you, you executed the plan very thoroughly. Yeah, they they both died. Mm. But the thing is, you still got her, though. Well, what about you? Which is? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> How did you get his car? How the fuck do you know how to drive? Is that the donut shop?
true. Yes. And of course, God was the strongest. Of course. Are you going to talk to her? Oh. Okay, so we'll be doing at the high school. He's not going to come. Yeah, he is long gone. He is now a college boy, baby. Right. Because in the end, she's just making it a burden for herself, which we already know that happened for her. Right. Scared the crap out of me, whatever the hell that was.
I know, but but he's not here anymore. Just not him. Somebody else. Better. Not to say, you know, Agaragi wasn't a bad guy. He really wasn't. There you go. Once again, inside out. <laughs> really? That's what, uh, but I, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Shut the up. There's like eight minutes left. So what the fuck? Uh, okay. Honestly, God's match was very interesting. I love how she did that, where it's like, yeah, because we knew, number one, like, baby, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like, okay, she can't really do much. But, yes, take the other two, and a little bit of herself. She can do anything her mind comes to. Um, this was a really interesting ending for this. I mean, but it still feels like there is possibly going to be more, even though after this episode, it just seems like for her arc and her chapter, we're, we're closing this off. Like, this feels like the last episode for her chapter and such. Which was really interesting. I mean, damn. And, and I get, like, yeah, the last one had to be Meek because Meek is so in love with Ara Agaragi, which is what she was the first time when we all met her, super duper in love with him and such. And the course of the fact is that, yeah, she wanted to kill the main best girl in order to, like, be with him. It gives you feels of, like, when Hanekawa, like, finally confessed to him and I like at that moment I was a happy ass person I was like oh my god she's finally doing this but at the same time he had to be realistic and be like this is who I love though and there's nothing wrong with that Did you give her her clothes back, though?
It's donuts. It's always donuts. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I mean, cause in the end, duh, it just it, it's gonna taste like paper. <laughs> You want to ask about him? Go on. You're always cute. Mm, damn. <laughs> Hi, honey. Okay, let's hear. Nice! This would be good. You could get more money. You might be getting paid for this. <laughs> of course.
just feels like we just started on her story, and then now it's like, boom, done. They're like, get out! I'm like, ah! Oh. And, and see, I, I love that, but then I also, like, dislike it a little bit, because it's like, any, okay, the, it, it's like how I currently feel with Amagami SS, because that show only focuses, like, four episodes on one girl. Uh, on each girl. So maybe you might get a little bit longer, but I haven't gotten to the point where it's like the one episode on his sister. So whenever I get to that, that'll be a completely different story. But for the, like, she had, what, at least three or four episodes focused on her? Because, like, the first two was, you know, um, what's her face? Uh, his sister. So, yeah, I get it. I mean, because how many more episodes do we have left? Honestly, I don't fucking know. I mean, as much as, like, okay, no. As much as I would love to see this, like, for 24, go to 24 consistent weeks with this show, I feel like we're not going to get that. I would maybe say at least, like, if I could give a random number, maybe, like, 13 to 16, maybe. Um, depending on, like, how long this whole arc for this portion is. It does make me wonder who is going to be next on our main focus. My money is on Shinobu because, of course, they showed her in this last episode. So it kind of makes the most sense because Omegami oh SS does the same thing where it's like once we're getting closer and closer to the next girl, they start pushing her in the last girl's um, final episode and be like, oh, okay, this is the next girl who's getting the potential focus, yada, yada. But... Her story arc and finally concluding it and such, because the way how how it kind of concluded from what I remembered, I still enjoyed, but it left me with a lot of unanswered questions and stuff with her when I was like, oh, whenever the hell this is going to be, like, resolved and such for her, because, yes, we knew she wanted to do manga and she wanted to be a manga and stuff, but I was like, there's got to be something else for her, and so I'm glad that we have... A definitive conclusion with this that yes she is continuing to be a manga and she's also working with Onanoki so it's the best of both worlds both my best girls are together regardless even though I still want my other best girls to show up it does make me wonder and question whatever is like if we're looking at the next arc is there a possibility that they're going to do an arc with him in college like how um I think the Bunny Girl Senpai series is technically now going into college years with their next animated series, even though <laughs> I haven't seen the last two movies for that show, for that series, so that's something that I'm, like, clearly waiting on. But honestly, no, this was really good. Really, really good for her. I just, mm, I'm hoping the next week she knew who was next. But, well, let me think one other thing real quick. Let me apologize for looking away. I found out that was the washing machine that made that noise. I did not need to, like, look down because I thought it was my dog. But my dog is laying around. Also, I want to apologize for not having this out on Saturday. Um, th These last couple of days. And plus, since I just now officially started my new job last Thursday, I'm on day two of training and such. I am tired. <laughs> not not tired, deadbeat, um, like I was at UPS, but I am just tired. I literally just got home not too long ago, and I'm like, I gotta hurry up and get shit out before I have to go to bed and wake up early. So, just in case, y'all are wondering where the hell GT Harum and Suicide Squad is, that'll come out tomorrow when I come home. Because um, I do come home a little bit earlier-ish tomorrow, but we'll talk about that when we get there tomorrow. Other than that, guys, that's our reaction view towards episode 6 of the Managatari series off in Monster Season. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturday. Yes, I promise. For episode 7. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!